Hey guys, this is Tiffany, aka the Spunky Spartan. Teacher Tiff here, and today I'm going to teach you how to fill out the application like on the 21st portal. I have people call me all the time. They're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So guess what? This video is for you. Okay, Let's first you're going to go to 21stmortgage.com. I'm going to put the link above. Don't you worry about that. So put my blue tint glasses on. All right, so now you're going to create your account okay so if you already have an account if you've ever done this before you're just going to log in there i'm just going to make up something real quick um I'm a, i know this may be kind of time consuming however if you are trying to get you a new home i think it is worth it because i have people calling me all the time freaking out about this so I'm trying to help you. Okay, so we're gonna submit it. Um, and if you ever get an invalid request, either that means, a lot of things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mess up on purpose, so that way you can see what you have to do because people will get this all the time. So we're gonna go back and either the emails were not the same or the passwords were not the same. So take the time and show the password. Okay, um, and make sure they're the same. Cool, 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 submit it. All right, and if it says it's already taken, and that's because it screwed up the passwords and therefore it's already taken. So we have to already have an account, log in here. I'm gonna do that again. Sometimes it's good to do the error ones. And then it says an error. So you're like, what the crap? So just go to the forgot the password because I'm telling you about how this crap happened a million fifty eleven times. And we're gonna go to forgot password and type in your email. And if yours is already working, then you can just skip this right along. And you can actually do this on your phone. All right, so I'm going to my email and checking my password to reset it to see what it is. So how you guys doing? Are y'all ready to get a new house? Karen. Checking, checking, checking. Y'all know, come see me. This is Funky Spark, so I can help you get a house. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Reset the password. It's being kind of slow today. It's like a man, you just have to like rub it. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, let me work now. Sometimes they're stubborn. You have to rub it a little more. Come on, boo-boo. It's because I don't have it on Wi-Fi. Okay, reset my 21st password. So I'm going to click there and put in your new password. Okay, and if you're like me, you got the big old fingers. I actually have an eye disease, so I have a blind spot huge in the center of vision of my left eye. So I think I'm pushing this button is the other one. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, okay, so I reset that sucker. Oh my God, oh, it didn't like the other one I used. It's killing me, I'm killing y'all right now, okay. Some of y'all are like, thank you, because now I know it's not just me and you see what you're doing wrong. Okay, bam, gotta reset. Okay, so go back and we are going to enter it in. And log in. Oh my God. And then you're like, okay, forget it. I don't wanna do it anymore. And then you say curse word, curse word, curse word, like 500 times, and then it works. Okay, so then it's gonna send me authenticator code. And so to make sure that it's right, so you go back to your email, and I finally got the freaking code, 310327, and log in. And for the love of God, I'm all in. Okay, so last four digits of my social security number, can I show you that? My birthday, kidding. 1224. My birthday is Christmas Eve. Did my parents get a good Christmas present? Duh, one of their presents, it was under the tree, was me. <laughs> yeah, don't say that. Okay, so find my application if you've already started. If not, you're going to start a new application. 
Okay, so you're gonna go here and you're gonna put in your social. Obviously, I can't be showing you that. I gotta make up something. I'm really not submitting this, okay. So, you're gonna put in your social and your name, okay. And then your date of birth, remember my birthday, so you all buy me some presents. Married, unmarried, or separated. I had the funniest lady, she said all of the above. Okay, so, all right, so click that there, and then number of dependents. Now, this is what you need to listen to me, okay, so. This is not your taxes, all right? I gotta be careful the way I say this. This is not where, just because your sisters, brothers, aunties, grandkids come to your house all the time and eat your food, we ain't trying to put them on there, okay? So, we do we pay child support or do we get child support for this child? Then yes, then we need to put them on there. If this is just, if this is your wife, even though she depends on you and you should take care of her, we're not trying to put on there. All the time people's like, oh, I need to put as many as I want. No, we're not trying to put your 20 year old that's in college that takes care of herself, okay? We're not trying to put your wife or your husband, okay? We're not trying to put all these grandkids that you seem to be raising because their mama's done dropped them off, all right? We just need to put, are you paying child support for them? Are you receiving child support for them? Then yes, we're gonna put them, okay? Not zero, boom. Okay, so. Fill that in there. Your primary phone number, 601-757-9322, because this funky spark is going to take care of you. Okay, don't worry about the relative who gives a crap about that. Trust me, if there's something you have to fill out, this sucker is going to be like red and all that kind of stuff. All right, so your present address. All right, so just make up something right now. I don't need all these crazy weirdos coming to see me. I'm kidding. Um, and then make up a zip, 39474. All right, I'm going to be back in Prentice, baby, because I'm from Prentice. City Limit Signs on the same post. All right, and then how long have you been there? You have to at least be there three years. If not, then you're just going to put where you have been before that there. Ooh, that's jiggling. I got to work on that. Okay, so, and you have to fill out the months and the residential status. Now, do you own your home free and clear? If you do, then we're going to have to show what you're going to do with it um, because they're not wanting you to have a secondary home. If you're going to have a secondary home, then you're going to have to pay a bigger down payment. Okay, so like if you're just living with family, you put living with family. If you're renting, you're going to put how much you're renting. Um, if you're just going to knock this sucker down like I had a customer to do, then you're going to have to, you know, prove that and show that. So, um, if you're going to give your house, like if you're living with your daughter and you're fixing to give her the house, then you might just put living with family because it's her house now anyway. It's her house all along. We know that. Okay, so I'm going to be living with family. And then existing housing expenses is how much does it cost for you to be in there. And that's not talking about, you know, this is just your house payment, rent, and that kind of stuff, all right? It kind of tells you here, no, we don't need your bills and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so you fill that out. And then um, Hispanic, non-Hispanic, if you don't want to tell me, or the bank or whatever, you know, your this, fill that out, don't want to say, male, female, whatever. Are you a citizen? Yes. Okay, then next. Okay, do you work? I have a primary employer. Okay, I am Spots and Homes, and you have to know the address. I think it's 7413 US Highway 49 South, and the zip is 39402, maybe? I gotta learn, yep, yep, boom, chicken there. Supervisor name, we have Mr. Bradshaw, and then, his number and I don't, I'm not putting his number because he's got enough people on this phone all the time and I can never get him. Okay. And so when did I start here? Let's see. I started here about, I don't know, a month ago. And so you have to have three years of work history. Okay. So when, I don't even know what month this is. So let's just say February. I don't even know. Okay. And so 2020 and on my job title, I am in sales. And I'm trying to do this, okay? All right, I put 2025. I don't need it to be that late. Lord, I'm not saying I'm old enough, okay? And how are you paid? Well, I'm paid commissions. So I would have to do kind of like just, um, I don't know, an average or whatever. So I'm just gonna kind of make up a good number right now. All right, salary. Do you receive bonuses? Yes or no? Do you receive commissions? Yes. 
okay? So if you don't even get a salary, you just do zero and then how much bonuses you get. So you just kind of fill that out. I'm gonna click no, because I don't feel like dealing with that right now. Okay, so do you have currently more than one employer or source of income? Am I getting child support? No. And if I was getting child support, I would have to prove it. It has to be court ordered and I have to show in my bank statements or on that card, 12 months of where I've received it. Now, if Joe does not give you child support, then you cannot use it, okay? So don't even worry about adding it on here. Um, do you sell like Mary Kay or something like that? I do sell Limu. Do I turn it in my taxes? Yes. So I can add that on there. But if I just get paid cash for going to mow somebody's yard, then I can't put it on there. If I don't report it taxes, then I can't put it on here. Okay, so no. Now I do need to have three years of work history or two years, sorry. And that helps me. So yes, I do have a previous employer. Yes, previous employer's name would be All American Housing. And type of business would be, it's a, um, it's a retailer. And I was in sales. And that is in Brookhaven, so 39602. Yes, and supervisor's name would be Seth Ferguson. Uh-huh, and his number, and I'm not really putting it, Okay, and start date, we'll see, it was in 2005, so I'll just make up a date. Okay, and end date was in January. <sighs> Funny story. Okay, anyways, <laughs> okay, so next. All right, you've entered employment dates that reflect a job gap of greater than 30 days. Please correct dates or select the reason why. Okay, so I did that on purpose, they wanna know why. And <laughs> we're just not trying to get all up in my business right now, but, um. I was, it's, um, mm -hmm, yeah, a termination job hunting. Yes, I was fired from All American Housing after growing at 350% <clears throat> five years ago. Anyways, I keep going. We're going to next. That'll be a different day. Okay. Do you have a checking account? Yes. Name a financial institution. Okay. Um, I'm going to put where I have my checking account. All right. And then do you have a savings or money market account? Yes. And then I'm going to put where I have this. Now, this is for them to see that you have good credit balance, like your internal score. Do you have other assets? Retirement. Now, you're not using this as like collateral, but you want to add this kind of stuff. So, like I do have, like I used to teach. So, it's called PERS. I taught for 10 years. I have a master's in math, actually. And I probably have about 35000 in there. Do you have any other assets? Yes. Do you have four-wheelers? Do you have cars? Do you have anything? I do. I have a Honda side-by-side, -side, baby. Okay, so it's a Honda Pioneer 2000 and maybe 18. I don't know, really. I think so. And then, so, it's, it was 17000 when I bought it cash. So, I think the other day, like, mm, about 7000 Okay. All right. Do you need to add any other assets? You want to add everything they have. Anything you have a title for, you'll want to add it. Okay? So, no. Do you have any debts that will not be on your credit report? No. Do you have any child support obligations? No. Garnishments? No. Alimony separation maintenance? No. Do you have any other recurring? No. All right. So, next. All right. Do you need to add anybody else? No. If you do, yes. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing with them. Next. Now, are you purchasing a home or refinancing? I am purchasing. Do you want to live there by yourself only? I mean, primary residence. I mean, are you going to only live there? Secondary is going to be like your vacation home. You're going to investment, buying a home for somebody else. Okay, majority of y'all's primary residence. You are buying from me, the manufactured home dealership retailer community. Okay, what is the code to Hasbro 2162-3? And you're going to hit enter, and it's going to pull up Titan Homes of Hasbro. They haven't changed it to Spartan yet, so 2162-3. So make sure you know that. Okay, condition, are you doing a repo, pre-owned, or new? new home do you know what you're going to get if we don't know unknown section do you want a single section or double section or triple i'm gonna go to double next all right do you own the land do you want to buy the land is it going to a community park family land whatever we are going to have family no, land already owned so that way some people ask those questions do you want to use it as your down payment if you do not then you click no i do not okay um do you want to refinance it it's pretty self-explanatory here but some people get confused on that is the home site address the same as your present address? If no, put that. If you're not exactly sure what it is, to be determined, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna say, yes, it is, okay? Are you going to have to pay anything for land payment? Zero if no. All right, now, home sales price. 
Um, just put kind of what you're wanting to spend. Let's just say I want to spend around 100,000, okay? All right, um, if you want to put, if you don't know, just go up a little bit more. All right, taxes. The taxes in Mississippi is 3% for the price of your manufactured home. So if you got your phone, you do times 3%. People always want to know what that is. Obviously that's 3,000 for this. Okay, are you purchasing homeowner's insurance from the retailer? Yes or no, it's up to you. You can get your own insurance or we can get it for you guys. All right, do you have a trade-in? Yes or no? Do you know around about what your credit score is? Okay, so then it's gonna tell you kind of what your estimated down payment is. Um, honest to God, it hasn't been working. If your credit score is good, it's usually 5% of the price. And if it's not really good or whatever, they'll ask for 10% or maybe tells you you need to do more. So I'll do 5% of 103,000 times 0.05. So that's 51.50. All right, source of down payment is where you got your money from. Checking, savings, is it in retirement, is it a gift, a tax refund, cash on hand, whatever. You just check you what it is. Then it fills it out and you hit next. And then you're going to sign it, view and sign. Then you check that little box there and you hit okay. And then if you had two people on there, it's gonna say, is this person spouse to this one? Is this person spouse to this one? And then have you read everything? Yes, and you are going to submit it. And that my amazing family, that is how you enter in an application on the 21st portal. So y'all know my number, 601-757-9322. And y'all let this spunky Spartan take care of you. If you have any questions on how to do something, you just can text me or call me and I will help you. And of course, I'll put the link above so y'all come see me. Y'all have a blessed day.